Hi everybody, this is Auto Tech Pro. Today we're installing 2015 BMW 3 Series. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the system and the main features that come with this system, okay? Let's talk about the hardware specification of the system first. This one is the newest 10.25 inches high definition screen. The wet solution of the screen is 1920 by 720. Okay, the wet, the basic version is only 1280 by 480. The pixel density is almost double than before. And this one also comes with four gigabytes of memory and 64 gigabytes of storage memory it also comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon Auto Core CPU that means it also support the 4G LTE at the same time so okay let's move to the system okay this system is fully compatible with the stereo control the original sound system and also the iDrive as well okay if you can come with the original better camera this system also support the original camera too there's no cutting wire, no modifications required. This is the honest is that already pop and pray. We will also provide with the full installation video. So you can just basically follow our video to do the installation. So okay, let's talk about the feature about the system first, okay? This way we support the iDrive. You can use the iDrive to control the manual here. Okay, it's fully compatible. We can see the western of the screen actually is really good. Okay. So let's talk about the navigation. You see it's instant, it's very fast. So how to use the navigation? Just click on the bottom white right corner here and then new road we come with the european map and the north american map and also the african map as well okay so it depends on your country so this is the address you can enter the address here and then follow the instruction you come with 2d and 3d you also come with the traffic update so pull down a little bit on the top and then you will see the home button here or maybe you can use the iDrive okay you can also use the iDrive to activate the navigation okay you can see that it's very convenient, okay? So second, you also come with the Apple CarPlay. This system comes with the built-in wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I will show you how to use the Apple CarPlay, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna show you about the feature about the system first, okay? This one. You can see that the stereo control is working perfectly fine, okay? Okay, and also you can also watch the video too. You also come the video in motion. Okay, car info is fully compatible with the original screen. So I'm gonna set up the system here first. Okay, so first of all, you can go to 1314. I will show you how to set it up after. Okay, this system originally come with the 8.8 like, inch screen. Okay, so you can just choose 8.8 inch screen. You can see that's perfect. Okay, so this is fully compatible with the original interface. Okay, this is the original interface. Okay, this system is fully compatible with the original BMW iDrive. You can basically use this iDrive to control the manual. You can see that. You can also use this one to control the manual interface here, okay? You can just hold the manual button on the iDrive for a couple seconds and then you can switch back to the original interface. Under the original face, it's gonna be exactly the same as before, right? So every time I use the system, you can just change your car to AUX mode. So basically just assign number one because BMW come with different type of shortcut here, okay? So basically you can just set up number one as the auxiliary and then you can click on the screen or just hold the manual button for on the iDrive for a couple seconds and then you can switch back to the new ID7 okay this comes with the BMW newest ID7 interface okay this is the RPM dashboard here okay so it will show you all the for example you can see that you show you the RPM and also the speed as well okay it's very nice okay it also support the, the backup camera too, okay? This one will support the backup camera here. So basically when you click on the, you have a backup camera right here. So this is the backup camera that we install. And this one, it also comes with the Active Guide 9, okay? You can see the light will also turn according to the angle of the wheel. So the resolution of the screen actually is very nice, okay? Let's talk about the Apple CarPlay and the main feature of the system, okay? This one comes with the Wi-Fi. As long as you connect to the Wi-Fi, you can use most of the feature about the system, okay? For example, you can also watch the YouTube, you, you can use the Google Map here. The Google Map is very nice, okay? You can see that, the newest version of the Google Map, okay? How to download the Google Map? Uh, the Google Map, it also provides with the off-night feature. You don't need to connect to the Wi-Fi to use the newest version of the Google Map. The newest version of the Google Map, they come with the off knife feature. How to do that? Just log into your Gmail, click on this one, and then select off knife. Okay, you can see that there's an off knife feature here. Okay, you can just download the 
map data um, in your area, in your country, okay? So other than that, this system also come with the YouTube. You can also watch the YouTube here. You can see that it's very smooth, okay? You also got the high definition uh, YouTube as well, okay? So basically, other than that, you also come with the uh, 2B, that means it's another software such as the Netflix, okay? You can basically watch the movie here. It's very nice here. Other than that, you can also watch the video in motion. The necessary shock to the system. I am human evolutionary. Okay, you can see the resolution of the screen, the pixel density is very high, okay? Pull down a little bit from the top of the screen and then you can see the home menu bar here. Okay, this is also support the Apple CarPlay. I'm gonna show you how to use the Apple CarPlay right now, okay? Just keep that in mind, Apple CarPlay and Wi-Fi hotspot cannot be used at the same time, okay? So why is, uh, let me talk about wireless Apple CarPlay technology, okay? First of all, they will use the Bluetooth to pair with your phone, okay? And then once they get paired, and then they will switch to the Wi-Fi at the back one to transfer the data. So basically, wireless Apple CarPlay will use the Wi-Fi channel to, to transfer the data, okay? So now I'm gonna show you how to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi, okay? But connect to the wireless CarPlay. First of all, bring out your phone, okay? Go to, make sure the Wi-Fi on the unit is on, okay? Go to system, Android that uh, network Wi-Fi must be on but don't connect to anything here okay just keep that in mind okay now you can go to communication on the new system and then go to the phone connect to Bluetooth device on the new system okay then enter the password zero 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 perfect done and then open the Apple CarPlay app And then on the cell phone, you need to grant the authorization. Okay, for the first time, you might take a little bit longer. But other than that, every time when you get into the car, you will strictly connect to your phone with the Apple CarPlay. It's very straightforward. Perfect. Done. Okay, so basically this is Apple CarPlay. Apple CarPlay also come the split screen as well. Okay, how to do that? This is the split screen in the face. Okay, you can also listen to the music here. Check your WhatsApp message. You can also use to listen to your Spotify. Use the ways you listen to your YouTube music. Okay, you can also use the Zoom. Okay, of course not for the video call. Okay, okay. So you can also check the message here. Okay, so Apple CarPlay is very nice and easy to use. Okay, of course you can also use the built-in navigation as well okay this is the built-in navigation in under the built-in navigation you don't need to connect to any wi-fi to use the gps because it's built in okay so other than that i'm going to show you how to set up the system okay after you purchase the system from us okay go to the setting if your car come with the original camera you can just go to system and then camera selection okay oem camera or aftermarket camera don't select 360 camera unless you want to connect to 360 camera interface by yourself okay so this system also support the 360 camera a lot of customers they ask us if this system support the 360 camera in face the answer is yes okay this system will support the 360 any 360 degree camera in the face in the market right now okay so if your car come the original cameras then you can select the OEM camera. If your car doesn't come the original camera and you want to install the OEM camera, then you can just select the aftermarket camera here. Okay, so that's it. And then boilers here, you can just change the boilers here. Okay, depends on your personal preference. Okay, and then navigation, you can also select the default navigation software here. You can also select the Google Map ways, depends on your personal preference. Okay, volume. Okay, this is the default setting you don't need to change it if, if you don't have any issue on that one okay because it's by default this is the basic one okay the equalizer here you can change the language here if you after the installation you have some problem when you switch back to the original screen then you can just go to the fracture here one three one four okay okay oh, okay and then you will bring it to the new interface here, okay? Make sure, uh, don't touch anything, just go strictly to car display. If your car comes with the 8.8 .8 inches original navigation, you need to choose MBT 8.8, .8. depends on the car, okay? For all the F30, the uh, MBT before 2017 or 18, okay? 
so basically that's it okay and then if you want to connect to the wi-fi okay now i'm gonna show you now because we connect to the hard play right so in order to connect back to the because apple copy won't allow you to watch the youtube movie okay so if you right now if you want to connect back to the wi-fi hotspot okay then you can just go to your cell phone okay you cannot just disconnect the bluetooth you need to go to search bar here search car play okay and then go to the car play device that show up on your cell phone and then turn off the car play okay now the car play won't work okay now you can turn on the hotspot on the phone and then connect to the system okay and then you can now enjoy the youtube and netflix Perfect. Now we can watch the YouTube. And you can also download any application from the Google Play Store here too. Okay. This system can be purchased from our website www.autotapro.com. If you guys have any questions about the system, please feel free to contact us. We will be more than happy to assist you. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.